Hey guys, RJ here. Uh, this will be, I think will be the last video for uh, my air scrubber. This video will, will look at the airflow rates uh, through the air scrubber uh, with the carbon pellets, without the carbon pellets, with both the carbon pellets and the HEPA filter, with the hood on, with the hood off. Um, and also I might add the very unscientific smoke test um, basically I used a small incense burning inside the build chamber with the filter running to see if I could smell the incense I thought maybe that one that would be a, an indicator of a sort to whether or not it's filtering the uh, smoke out um, but anyway very unscientific and more just a I don't know, just to see. All right, so let's go uh, look at the data. Thermometer. You can see that we're moving roughly seven, 700 CFM. So let's try this with the HEPA filter and see what we get. Okay, now with the HEPA filter. So with the HEPA filter, we're moving five, roughly 500 feet per minute through the HEPA filter. Now let's try with the carbon and the HEPA filter. And now let's see what we get be around actually about 190 190 feet per minute so we're getting roughly 700 690 feet per minute let me take the front cowl off and you'll see Roughly 850 feet per minute moving through the filter, which is it's completely empty, so I would expect, expect that. And that is at 6 volts. And we will go ahead and put this in place and see what our CFM is. So roughly 500 feet per minute front cowl on and the HEPA filter in place. I'll go ahead and remove the front cowl. So about 520 feet per minute with the front cowl off. And let me go ahead and fill this with carbon and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Reservoir is full. And I think what I'm going to do is do a test without the HEPA filter first and then with. And at the end, I'll take the front cowl off. All right. So, roughly 200 feet per minute. So, let's go ahead and put the HEPA filter in. So not that big of a change with the help of HEPA filter in place. Roughly 190 feet per minute, which is um, it's substantially more air moving through than the respirator. And take the front cowl off. So as you can see, once we're down to these levels, the front cowl being off doesn't make any difference at all. This has been running in my printer 
um, roughly 35, 40 hours of print time. So what I want to do is I want to see what CFM we have moving through the, uh, the unit as a whole. Um, and then I'll take the uh, HEPA filter out and see if there's any difference. Roughly 200 feet per minute. It's on the, uh, the low side of 200. So about the same as a brand new one. So let's go ahead and take the HEPA out. And um, that's, that's good. There's no, no clumping. I was uh, I was expecting maybe some clumping in the uh, carbon, but it feels pretty good. Well, let's, let's see what the airflow is now. So just shy of 210. So I'm not sure if we uh, on this uh, version one if we don't have enough runtime or. Um, if we're actually filtering, I suspect that we may not have a run, you know, enough runtime. I've, I've done a um, a smoke test in the printer. So basically, I took a um, small incense stick, lit it, closed the door, and basically waited to see if I could uh, smell the incense. And uh, surprisingly, I'm pretty sure I picked up. A little bit of the odor um, but then I turn the uh, the blower off and uh, within you know maybe 60 seconds or so I could I could smell it a lot so I know that it's filtering something how much I really don't have the equipment to know so we're just going to use some foil tape Protect the bin. Use a failed print to hold the incense and then a nice torch to, to light it quickly. And I've got the bed um, raised probably three. I'll make the yeah, three inches from the nozzle. Close the door, and now we wait. Let's see if I can smell it. So there you have it. There is my numbers. Overall, I think pretty good. The airflow moving through the assembly is good for the voltage versus the noise of the motor at that voltage. Much better than the respirator. I mean, significantly better than the respirator. Um, with all of that said, I did find a flaw. The flaw that I found was related to airflow bypassing the carbon. And not the HEPA filter, but the carbon. And the problem is the space between this edge and where the grate is, it's not deep enough. So air wasn't being forced through the carbon. It was bypassing, the, some of it was bypassing the carbon and going right to the grate. So what I did was instead of having to reprint the entire section I just printed a small filler piece that can be glued 
up into the, this front section creating a much deeper reservoir where the air must pass through the carbon so guys that's it if you have any questions leave them down in the comments if uh, you like this video give it a thumbs up if not thumbs down I'm not scared if uh, you enjoy the videos and want to be notified of my future videos subscribe all right guys take care